Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Nathan Fox, that's Ben Olson. We're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. We've got an email here from Anonymous. Hi, Ben and Nathan. I have a question about law school applications. I've been fired twice from jobs. Ooh, okay. One was a part-time service job I did during undergrad that was because of a scheduling misunderstanding that resulted in a no call, no show. Okay. Completely my fault. Second was from my first corporate job after undergrad in which I was blindsided by a firing at my 90-day review, and the cited reason for firing was, you aren't a good culture fit. Hmm. Okay. My boyfriend is a practicing attorney and is very supportive of me going to law school, but made me nervous because of having to address these firings in law school applications and during ethics approval to take the bar exam. I'm not sure if the specifics I'm not sure of the specifics of that process. Am I a lost cause because of these firings? I would love some insight. Okay, let's deal with this one step at a time. Let's talk about the application. Actually, the bar exam to me seems easier. Do you think that ethics is going to care about these firings? It's not unethical to get fired. No. Like if you got fired for, you know, drug use, then yeah, that might come up, but I, it doesn't sound like it. It sounds like just things that happened so that they don't care about. But anyways, for the application, do you think schools would ask about these? I mean, if they do, you have to answer it. If there's, but I've, I haven't, I don't know. This is the first time I've ever heard of a question that says, have you ever been terminated been fired? Yeah. From a job. Um, if that's a question, then I would answer the question honestly. I do not think if you answer it, answer it pretty much the way you've answered it here. Just these are the facts. I'd be shocked if this mattered. With the right LSAT and the right GPA, I, I just don't think you have anything to worry about. You could call your state bar for sure, right? I, I, I might start with that actually to get the ethics part out of your head. I might call the state bar and say, hey, I have these two firings on my record. Is that going to be a problem if I decide to go to law school? Like, Ask them if you're a lost cause. It's the state yeah. bar that's going to make that determination. I, I agree 100% with that because it'd be silly to waste all this time and effort on something that <laughs> could end up killing your whole career opportunities through the bar. But Boy, I would be surprised if they care about that. I mean, that's how the economy works. People get jobs and they get fired or they quit or whatever. So I've just never heard of that. Uh, I've never heard of not getting admitted to law school or being prevented from taking the state bar because of a, a past firing. If it now, if the firing was um, because of theft. Sure. Yes, exactly. <laughs> then, yeah. We're not talking about a, like a law or something that was broken. We're just saying, hey, we don't like you here. Yeah, I, I think you're fine. Write us back if you uh, have specific questions about, you know, questions that are on law school applications or anything like that. But I would start with the bar. Put your mind at ease. I think they're going to tell you, yeah, no big deal. Just disclose it. You're good. OK. And then assuming you go forward, as you said earlier, Nathan, LSAT, GPA, those are going to be the two things that matter the most. The one other thing I would add here is getting a good letter of recommendation from the current employer. Mm -hmm. Because if you have to report these things to a law school, then you just want to counter it with, hey, look, here's here's my mm -hmm. current boss. He loves me. Um, she thinks I do a great job, whatever. Um, just so that- Yeah, and the you longer you've that been up. at that current job, the, mo the more weight that might hold. You know, if you've been at, let's say you've been at your current job for three years or something and you have a glowing letter of recommendation from your boss, then yeah, who cares about these old firings? Like you weren't a good fit for McKenzie or whatever the hell it was that you got fired at your 90 day review. Yeah. Well, fine. You're a good fit for the place where you are now. Yep. Email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some LSAT or law school admissions news. Thanks for listening.